Tonight's big story, the city of Norfolk is taking aim at yet another downtown business. It's all part of an ongoing fight to make our streets safer. Now, News 3 has been tracking the city of Norfolk's ongoing crackdown all year long. And in the past couple of weeks before tonight, the city council voted to shut down three spots in or near downtown Norfolk. Now, here's a rundown of how that all happened. The first nightclub to face the music was Culture on Granby Street. The city shut it down, saying the owners repeatedly violated its permit by having live entertainment and being open past midnight. Another night spot, Legacy, was also shut down by the city. The restaurant and bar on East Plume lost its permit in the wake of a quadruple shooting that happened right outside. And just two weeks ago, the city voted to shut down Scotty Quicks on Granby, a downtown mainstay, because of what it called significant discrepancies between the meals tax reporting and what it reported to the state alcohol board. And all of that brings us to tonight's development, city council voting to close that fourth business, California Burrito. News story reporter Leandra Head was inside tonight's meeting. She joined us live with why the business will have to close its doors now. Leandra. Well, Pari, I can tell you that in a seven to two vote, city council voted to revoke the conditional use permit for California burrito due to overcrowding incidents. Now, the city says at times there were more than 100 people at the establishment. This now means that California burrito is forced to shut down. Closing down California burrito, has that made downtown Norfolk safer? Absolutely not. John Babineau, the attorney representing California Burrito, says the restaurant will now have to let go of 20 employees. City Council's move comes as an effort to curb crime downtown. California Burrito hasn't had any reports of violent incidents. There was never any violence there. There were never any rescue calls there. There were never any health department violations there. You're talking about some uh, overcrowding on a few occasions. The city says California Burrito was caught multiple times with at least 100 people. The Norfolk Fire Marshal issued summons for California Burrito due to overcrowding three times between July 21st and July 2022. The fire marshal um, found a total occupancy of 108. That would be 59 over his occupancy. This history goes to show that this owner cannot be trusted to operate legally. California Burrito even proposed to change operating hours from closing at 2 a.m. to a new close time of 11 p.m. and to stop the sale of alcohol by 10 p.m. Also proposing to not have any live entertainment or DJ. There's no more dance floor. There's no more nightclub atmosphere um, there. It's all it's all tables. Their attorney also proposing to convert the restaurant into a different environment. That he would convert to Ali Brije, which is an up scale Mexican restaurant. Ultimately, city council choosing to revoke California burritos conditional use permit. What's next for that spot? Is this the end of the road for California burrito? Well, Pari, I did ask the attorney if they plan to take this matter up to court, and he says for now they're weighing out all of their options. Again, this comes as the fourth downtown Norfolk restaurant forced to shut down. Pari? Leandra, thank you so much for